in this question the speed of the gears are given as n1 is equal to 10 n2 is equal to 20 n3 is equal to 30 and n4 is equal to 20 inertia is are given as g1 is equal to 1 kg meter square g2 is equal to 2 kg meter square g3 is equal to 2 kg meter square and j4 is equal to 16 kg meter square the friction coefficient is given as 32 newton meter second per radian so ratio of voltage to the speed will be given by kb is equal to 5 volt divided by 600 by pi rpm if you multiply it by 2 pi by 60 we get in radian so it is comes out as 1 by 4. The mean inertia will be calculated by J4 K B square plus J2 plus J3 1 by 2 square plus J1. So this will be 16 1 by 4 square plus 2 plus 2 1 by 4 plus 1. So, mean inertia comes out as 3 kg meter square. Now, the mean friction coefficient will be given by D into KB. So, this will be 32 into 1 by 4 square, which is comes out as 2. Now, the mean input is, is given by 1 by jm so this will be 1 by 3 so the input is given by theta 2 is is equal to 1 by 4 theta m so this will be 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 comes out as 1 by 12 and the output will be given by s s plus 1 by jm dm plus kb so this will be s plus yes 1 by 3 2 plus 1 by 4 so it is comes out as e2s is equal to yes multiplied by s plus 0 0.75 now the transfer function will be given by theta 2s divided by e2s which will be 1 by 12 divided by s multiplied by s plus 0 0.75 so this will be theta 2s divided by e2s which can be also written as eas equal to 1 by 12s s plus 0 0.75 this is the final answer